Hey, this is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. Today we're looking at a couple of window AC units here. We've got one from General Electric, GE1 right here, and then we have one from Friedrich. What we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be testing how much wattage these are pulling from the wall when in operation. We're going to look at low fan speed, high fan speed. We're going to be looking at compressor on, compressor off. So that way you have an idea of how much their electricity they're going to be pulling out of the wall. Now keep in mind, when you're starting up compressors like air conditioning, Air, air conditioners, there's compressors, there's motors in here. There's this initial uh, demand of power that they're going to be pulling. So what they run at and what they need for to get started are two completely different things. So let's say if they run at 500 watts, they might need three times that as that initial burst to get started. And that's very common with motors, compressors, what have you. And both of these are going to be this way. So the number I give you is going to be the number after that initial startup of the compressor when we get to that point. And I'll talk about that just a little bit more later. So it's going to be a little this evening, but the run numbers are what I'm after for this particular test. So we're going to start off and I'm going to be bouncing around here because um, I can come over and starting things and give you an idea of what each is doing. So right now on the GE unit, and the number on this one is AHR05LW, links in the description below. The number is 60 watts fan on low. Now we'll turn the fan to high. The fan on high with just the fan, now we're up to 70 watts of power being pulled from the wall. So really not a ton of difference between, it's getting more between like seven and eight watts actually, now it's settled back to about 67 watts of power being taken from the wall. Now let's go to the Friedrich. So the Friedrich with the fan speed on low is pulling about 85 watts on this particular one. So let's go to medium. And immediately you can hear that the fan is ramped up a little bit and it's only using 86 watts of power. And on high, the fan on high, we are up to 88 watts of power. So there's not a ton of difference between low, medium, or high wattage on this. So we were between 60 and 70 and we're between 80 and 90 on the wattage with just the fans. Now let's go and turn the compressors on and see what's gonna happen. All right, so we're starting to feel some coolness going. We've got the compressor, the fan is on low, but the compressor is on and the air conditioner is going. And we're pulling about 350 watts. And again, remember when we first started it, there would have been an initial quick draw of a lot of wattage and it settles back down to about 350 watts. And it is blowing cool right now. Not super cold, but it's blowing cool. Let's turn the fan up to high. On high, we jumped up to about 365 watts. It's ballpark somewhere in there, 360 to 65 watts. And we have some cooling action, of course, still going on. It's going to take a little time for it to really ramp up and be there. Now I can start to feel actually getting the temperature dropping a little bit more. And now we've pushed up to about 375 watts. Yeah, 375 is where it's kind of holding right now. As we're continuing, it's still climbing. So now we're getting a little cooler in the front and we're getting up to about 380 watts now. Now we're getting some nice cold air out of the front and we are up to three, we're using 385 watts of electricity right now. And it is definitely blowing cold out the front. That's taken somewhere between two or three minutes for it to get up to cool, this, this level of cooling. But now it's definitely cold air coming out the front. And inversely, it's warm air coming out the back. So after about five minutes, we have settled down to 380 watts, and that's where it's holding, going very cold out the front, very warm in the back. We're going to shut the G unit off now, and we're going to go over to our Friedrich unit. We'll shut that off. The Friedrich unit, which again is the CCF06A10A, which is a 6,000 BTU compared to a 5,050 BTU. So let's turn the Friedrich on and get it cooling and see what it does. Now with the fan on low, and the Friedrich unit is blowing and it's blowing cold right away. It probably took about 30 seconds for it to get really cold. It is pulling in about 425 watts is what it's taking right now. So it's taking a little bit more, 425, yeah, somewhere in that ballpark. But it definitely jumped into the cool range much quicker. We're slowly working our way up. We're up to 430 watts of power that are being pulled out of the wall right now. 
Now let's turn the fan up to a higher level and see what, it's, what it does. And we'll go all the way to high. So we bumped the fan up to high. And you can definitely tell it's, it's blowing more. It's a little louder on the back side of it. And right now, we are at 430 watts of power being used by the machine. Let's give it a few minutes and see where the wattage goes, if it goes up like we saw over here, or if it's going to kind of plateau or go down as it runs for about another two or three minutes. All right, so it's been running for quite a few minutes now here, and it's settled down to about 425 watts is what it's pulling. We're getting very cold air out the front, very warm air coming out the back at me right now. And it's doing a really, really nice job, 420 to 425 for wattage and such of what they're running, going to be running. So there you go. The GE, this again was the AHR05LW compared to the Friedrich unit, which is the CCF06A10A. Both uh, window units, both that can go into the, your living room or bedroom and such. The next video we're going to do is we're going to actually take the decibel meter. We're going to put that on the front to give you an idea of what it would sound like from in your room and on the back of what it's going to sound like for volume on the outside of, of your house. This is John Young of The Weekend Handyman. Thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.